Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Asian Psycho, and this will be the first ever review of the Exploring the Arsenal series with me, Asian Psycho, aka Toe Sniper 98 featuring a melee weapon. And going in rank order, we're going to be starting off with the GI Shovel. Now, the G now uh, before I actually go into the review itself, uh, let me warn you that I am terrible at melee only, especially with um, these longer range weapons. And I will I will kind of explain how I do th how I review. Um, how I will review uh, melee weapons for the Exploring the Arsenal series. Also, I will not. I will be covering the uh, knife only or the melee weapon mechanics of combat arms in my uh, new series that will be coming out hopefully soon after I'm done with my school finals. Uh, combat arms in depth. So I will have a post. I will have a separate episode featuring only melee weapons and how they work in combat arms for the most part. So, yeah, um, first of all, I would like to, like I said, I would like to let you know, guys, that, uh, this is just a disclaimer, I absolutely suck with melee only, the only weapon that I'm only good, uh, that I'm actually decent with is a tracker knife, and obviously that's one of the most overpowered melee weapons in this game, so, I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, so, yeah, so if you guys, uh, are crying bloody tears at how terrible I am at melee only, then I, I apologize. This is the best gameplay I could get all after like playing like three melee weapon, uh, three melee only games, and by the time I stopped, I was like, Ugh, it's too hard. That's what she said. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys will overlook the terrible gameplay um, as I try to get these guys with the stupid GI shovel. And honestly, the GI shovel is kind of crappy, but I mean... It's, the, it's a starter a melee weapon. Um, it's, it has no un rank unlock, so I mean, what can you do about that? So let's get it right into the actual stats of the GI Shovel, which is a melee weapon, so it's, it doesn't really have that many stats. I mean, on the Combat Arms website, it only gives you two of them, like um, damage, portability, and for some reason, it gives you firing modes. Like, why? Why even bother? I mean, I mean, it says no firing modes, like it just says none. But why even bother including that? Come on now. Anyways, for a little bit of background information, it has, once again, it has no rank unlock, and it does cost 550 GP a day, so in case you guys are thinking of getting another, um, if you guys, in case you guys are thinking of getting a GI shovel, uh, just try it out, that's how much it costs. So yeah, the, for its damage, um, it does have a pretty good fit, uh, damage at 52, in fact that's really good because, um, it is a two shot kill technically, um, yeah, it should be, because a tracker knife is 55, so a tracker knife is almost always two-shot kill. I've never really gotten a three-shot kill with a tracker knife, so... A GI shovel, you can safely assume it is a two-shot kill, because its damage is at a 52, so it's just barely over 50. Moving on to the portability. The portability is at a 70, so let's go check out... Oh, damn it, my mouse is acting up on me these days. I... It's a wired mouse. I don't even know why it's like constantly disconnecting on me, but whatever. Um, let's go check out the melee, the uh, standard or the default M9 knife in order to check out uh, what its portability is at. So according to Nexon, the M9 knife ha does have an 81 portability. So compared to the M9 knife, it is a slower. The GI shovel is uh, con uh, considerably slower. Um, so yeah, I mean it is a shovel. So <laughs> I mean you are carrying around a shovel, so it's got to be a little bit heavy somehow. So yeah, um, rate of fire or the portability. Yeah, I already covered portability. What the hell? Rate of fire. Um, the rate of fire is kind of tricky uh, for melee weapons. Um, I mean, rate of it, it does have a rate of fire. In other words, it's the, how fast you can swing around that weapon, the, your melee weapon. Um, for the GI shovel, it is. I like to categorize um, melee weapons into two types. One is the I like to categorize the shorter range weapons and the longer range weapons. What I mean by shorter range weapons is that um, their their main attack actually. God damn it. I, I'm just basically explaining their mecha uh, melee mechanics all over again, but it's necessary, okay? So, all melee weapons, is, in case you guys didn't know because you hardly ever play melee, uh, melee only, is, all melee weapons have a second, a primary and a secondary attack. So, uh, the primary attack is just left clicking. It's like a simple um, direct attack, um, very quick or usually quick of attack. And you left click with it, and then um, for the GI shovel, it's the animation, the attack animation is just swinging it down vertically. The secondary animation or the secondary attack is um, when you right click, and with the GI shovel, like that, you can see me uh, usually uh, using the secondary attack uh, most of the time in this video. 
is typically more powerful, but um, it is a slower and longer lasting uh, animation. In the case for the GI Shovel, um, the animation for the secondary attack, it kind of looks like um, like you swipe it, you swing it twice, except the recovery time for uh, the recovery time is a lot longer uh, for both swipes. But you do get to attack twice, and um, it is very good for when you tr when you're trying to aim for heads, um, like headshots. In case you guys know what I mean and play lots of um, melee only because typically for melee only what you want to do is trying to go for headshots um, maybe body sh uh, body shots only if you're coming up behind a guy so yeah it's a little pro tip for you guys who want to try out melee only so yeah, I believe that for the GI Shovel, it is more powerful using the secondary attack, though there is a hitch about that, and I'll get to that in a second, when I, uh, or I'll get to that when I actually do the Comet Arms in-depth episode on uh, melee weapons, so... Yeah, for both for most part, uh, using your secondary attack is more powerful than using your primary attack. Though you will have to sacrifice uh, speed, and um, yeah, for the most part, speed for that. Moving on to the recoil, it has no recoil, so fuck that. No accuracy either. And um, for the sprint drawback, it's it's a melee weapon, but it, since it is a, G, a GI shovel, the uh, comparatively compared to like say the M9 knife, it is slow compared to like the drawback on the M9 knife. And when you first draw, uh, pull it out uh, out of your uh, pack. So, I mean, something to use, uh, something to be worried about there. And um, the center speed has no cell speed, and it has no real speed either. Going down my list of things, to <laughs> things to uh, talk about. Um, let's see the key physical characteristics. I guess I could talk about this one. Um, I mean, it looks like a shovel. It's called the GI shovel, and what more can you forget out of that? It's a shovel. Damn it. So I don't know why it's a melee weapon, but apparently it's pretty lethal. So whatever. As for whether or not it's fire team worthy, um. I would say it's actually pretty fire team worthy because, as you guys know, the zombies aren't really particularly fast, and uh, especially if you're down to like a one versus one situation, which will happen <laughs> if you play enough cabin fever, it will happen. There will be, it will happen where uh, you're the last guy left, and um, what is it? You have no more ammo, and it's just you and a tank. And your melee, you you're only down to your melee weapon, because the uh, GI shovel is a longer range shovel. It has part, it has significantly longer range than the M9 knife. Even though I can't really feel it myself, it does have more range than the M9 knife. So it's in fact, it's got, I think it's got the lo more most, uh, it's got the, one of the longest ranges of any melee weapon in this game because it is a shovel. I mean, a shovel is pretty long, you know. So <laughs> like my shovel, no, just kidding. Um, so yeah, it will be a lot easier to take out, take out tanks from a distance with a longer range weapon like GI Shovel. So I would recommend if you know that you're going to be doing some, pulling off some solo, uh, runs of, uh, Cabin Fever, um, uh, I would recommend bringing along a longer range weapon, a melee weapon, and in case you guys aren't really high enough rank in order to get any better ones, uh, the GI Shovel is definitely a good choice to use. As for as quarantine worthy, nah. <laughs> In quarantine worthy and quarantine, um, I, I would suggest to you guys a long, um, not longer, but a uh, more portable uh, melee weapon in order to use in order to run away from zombies more effectively. So, I mean, that's just my opinion, but I don't know. It's up to you guys, ultimately. As for my frank personal opinions on the GI Shovel, this GI Shovel sucks. There's, uh, you should have no reason as to why you should ever use a GI Shovel, other than the fact that you just want to screw around with it, and just to see how bad it is. So, I mean, yeah, I was always terrible at melee only, but this one in particular is just like, why even use this? Like, why? Why? So... I mean, I'm not going to even give this as final rating. Ah, well, I mean, giving final ratings for melee weapons is kind of, is kind of, what is it? It's kind of iffy, because, I mean, there are only certain things that you can give it, and uh, I guess I could I could give it a final rating um, in respect to other melee weapons. Um, so I guess I'll do that right now. Um, I guess I'll give it like a 60% at melee, where, uh, uh, melee only, so, I mean, God. It's it's terrible. That's all you need to know about it. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, I mean, the gameplay itself. If you haven't been watching the video, um, it sucks. And in case you guys, in case uh, you guys have been watching it, I mean, it's self-explanatory how terrible I am with uh, the GI shovel. So.
yeah hope you guys have enjoyed the video and uh, oh yeah that's right i have forgotten to give the final rating for the k5 sd camo in my last video because uh, in case uh, you guys don't know um i like to record uh and um commentate videos in batches so just a few minutes ago or uh, about 15 minutes ago i was commentating um over the k5 sd uh camo review and i think i've forgotten to give it the final rating so i'm just going to do that right now um, the final rating for the K5 SD camo is going to come in at a, about an 85% at close range. Or actually, not even that. A 90 at close range. A, um, about a... Uh, I want to say a 60 at middle range. And about a 20% at long range. So that'll give us a final rating of... 56 and 66... Ah, God. 56 and 2 thirds percent. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed that episode. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed this GI Shovel episode. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next Melee uh, Weapon episode featuring Sickle. So yeah, have a good day, guys. Peace.